What's up guys, it's your boy Midnight Smokes. We're back here with another video. On this week's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to clean out your Dynavaps and how to get the most out of your reclaim from your Dynavaps. And basically, essentially achieving a third high off of the same bud that you vaped already. So you got, you vape your bud, that's your first high. Your second high is using that AVB to make edibles. And your third high, is to take that reclaim from your device and get the most out of it. So I'm gonna teach you guys today how to make what's called stem milk. Um, it, mostly people use it for carts and stuff like that, but it works for Dynavaps, especially Dynavaps. And I've only done it once before and it fucked me up. And that was only, you know, one week without cleaning it. I'm talking about three weeks of not cleaning my Dynavap and I'm gonna make stem milk with it today. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to, and I'm gonna basically document how it affects me because I know it's gonna be face melting. So without a further ado, here's the video guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like my other content, go check it out. You know, go check out my other videos and stuff like that. Give me a like, give me a sub, go follow me on Instagram, on TikTok. Well, yada, yada, yada. All right, guys, let's fucking get this shit going, boys. Disclaimer before I start the video. If you guys do this, if you make stem milk, make sure you guys do not have nothing to do for the rest of the day because the the effects are very, they're, um, they're unexpected. Unexpected effects. It might hit you like a freight train or it might just give you a nice body high. Who knows? But I know the first time it hit me like a freight train and I was glad that I didn't have anything to do that day. So I have nothing to do today besides go pick up my son from the bus stop when he gets home later and edit this video and blah, blah, blah. So we about to do that frazzled as a motherfucker off this stem milk. All right, guys, enjoy it. So first, you want to grab some milk. Uh, make sure it's just super fatty. This is just oat milk because I ran out of uh, whole milk. So just make sure it's something fatty. And I also added butter to it just to give it a more oomph. And then just take apart your Dynavap. As you can see, it's, I've already taken mine apart. They're easy as fuck to take apart. Um, you can see how dirty and nasty my tip is and everything and my stem, how resiny it is from over the past three weeks of just building up. Like, it's some nasty, gunky, gooey, ooey stuff. And even my intercooler, that's a purple color. And it's just, you can't tell. And then you're going to take your milk and get it to a simmering point, melt all the butter down and just just get it hot enough for the resin to melt off your Dynavap into the milk. And then you're going to take your Dynavap pieces and you're just going to plop them in there one by one. Just make sure you don't scratch the bottom and stuff of your non-stick pan. And then you're just gonna sit there and just consistently stir it for a good like five to 10 minutes. I personally do like seven, eight minutes just stirring. Just make sure it's all coming out. You could see already that the resin is separating from the Dynavap and into the milk and you just wanna stir and just stir and make sure it all binds together and you know, get all that goodness out. Also, a little pro tip is to shake your pieces like I'm kind of doing right now, just to work out all that built up resin and stuff, get it all out of there and just work it all out. I'm just shaking it, just trying to get the milk all into there and get everything binded together. And again, just keep stirring it. Just, you know, make sure and be aware that this e these are metal pieces and don't scratch the bottom of the pan because that would suck. Then you're gonna take it out of uh, the heat source. You're gonna take the Dynavat pieces, get all that milk out. As you can see, I've fucked it up. But get all the milk out and just take out the pieces one by one, set them aside. And 
then you're just gonna take your milk pour it into the cup and enjoy a lot of people put uh like chocolate syrup in it like myself to make it more of a hot cocoa type deal just you know just make sure you get it all out and into the cup you can take the pan and you're gonna go wash it right away because it's gonna stink like dankiness like make sure that you wash it thoroughly and then just here's me just putting chocolate syrup in it to help with the taste because I'm not a big milk fan but I do like chocolate milk and hot cocoa and then just stir it all up make sure it's all stirred up good um, it's gonna be hot right off the oven so make sure that it's just chilling let it cool down a little bit and then while you're waiting for your drink to cool down, I just put my pieces in hot soapy water for them just to, just to get all that nasty dairy crap out of, you know, off the pieces and stuff. Just to give it a quick rinse off before I actually clean it. And just stir. And just let it chill there for a couple of minutes before, you know, you go actually wash it and stuff. And once you're done with all that, all that's left, just some drink and enjoy. Very good, very creamy, probably the butter. Man, that was, that was pretty good. You don't really taste any reclaimed taste to it at all, especially with the chocolate syrup. It literally tastes like hot cocoa with milk, like bomb.com, but I'll see you guys in like an hour or so when this thing hits. And then once you're done, you know, drinking and stuff, take your pieces out of that hot soapy water. Um, I apologize. Uh, yeah, the drink is be hitting right now, guys. So from now, from this point forward, I might fuck up my speech and shit. But yeah, as you can see, the pieces look a lot better. Like even the intercooler, like once I, you know, am able to fish it out. Yeah, you can see the intercooler, it's, it's got a lot of its color back. It's not perfect, but it's got a lot of its color back right now. Then you're gonna take your isopropyl alcohol, put it in a bowl and just drop your Dynavat pieces in there. My iso is kind of on the dark side because I reuse my isopropyl alcohol until it stops cleaning. And you're just gonna let it soak in there for five minutes. I don't take the O-rings off, full disclosure, because you're going to damage your O-rings more if you try to take them off versus just letting them soak in, you know, ISO for a little bit. And you're just going to shake the pieces again, work out all that nastiness from leftover, and you're just going to let it chill. And I apologize for the, the Cheerios box. Um, I had to put my camera on something in order to get these angles because I can't really clean my Dynavap with one hand and hold my camera but you're gonna take your q-tips dip them in ISO and you're just gonna sit there and work out all that nasty gunk out of each individual piece that's just left over um, it should be really easy to remove it's just it just takes a lot of or, or q-tips to uh, do as you can see my tip is absolutely disgusting but we pretty much you know we work it Work it all out, get it all the nasty stuff out, and that shit be looking brand spanking new. Even the suit buildup on the outside, this is your chance to scrub it all off with the ISO. It comes really off, or comes off really easily. Um, and that's just to get your tip to look new and stuff, and it's just it's really helpful. Look at all the nasty ass O-rings. I mean, Q-tips, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you're gonna take your Dynavat pieces out of the ISO after you're done scrubbing all the pieces with the Q-tips. Um, I also use pipe cleaner too with the condenser and stuff because Q-tips won't fit in there. So pipe cleaner helps. I just didn't show that, sorry. And then afterwards, you're gonna take another bowl of really hot soapy water drop your dynavat pieces in there and you're just gonna let them soak in up in there and you're gonna shake them and you're gonna stir them and you're just your main goal is to just rinse it off rinse all that nasty stuff or rinse off all the iso off 
and then here <clears throat> here you see me you know the after results of it all drying off you're gonna let it air dry i scrubbed each individual piece by hand with hot soapy water and a sponge um just to make sure it gets all off and you can see the intercooler that pretty purple color again it's just it's all looking brand new you can see some water still in the condenser uh like i said you're just gonna let it air dry and just make sure everything is nice and dry nothing wet you don't want no water no moisture because that promotes rust buildup and you can see my tip that stuff looking brand new i got most of the suit off of it you could probably see some on the camera and then you could see you couldn't even see down the tip before now you could see you know the ccd and stuff and you're just gonna let it air dry i have my stuff like so to let the water run off guys and as soon as it air dries you're good to put it you know put it back together reassemble it uh make sure you do lube up your o-rings before you put it back together that's just to keep from the o-rings from drying out from sitting in the iso because the iso will dry out your o-rings over time so just make sure you put the lube on it and then you should be you know good to go and uh i have the intercooler installed sorry it's bright as hell out in that you know the stem milk be hitting bro um but yeah it, the intercooler's installed it should make a shaking noise i don't know if you guys could hear it but it's shaking it's good to go um some people do recommend to put you know burn off do a dry heat cycle with nothing in it and don't hit it just to make sure that all the iso is evaporated from your device um, and again, notice how I did not use or touch the cap at all in this video. Uh, you don't want to put your cap in milk or any of that stuff. It will destroy your, the clicker. Um, you can put it in ISO, but people do say wait, you know, 48 hours, 72 hours before even touching it just to let it dry and make sure the clicker is dry. Because if the clicker isn't dry or if there's any moisture in the clicker, it will destroy it and you won't have a click or it'll click at weird times um but there is a way to take baking soda and water or like toothpaste and scrub the outside of the cap to get the suit off the cap to make the cap look brand new but i just haven't done it yet it's not that bad to the point where it bothers me um and yeah the only thing left to do is just pack a bowl and get going at it but catch you guys when uh you know the stem milk is fully hitting right now i'm on the onset and i'm feeling it it's it's a very slow onset once you uh once you start feeling it and yeah guys i'm already probably like a four out of ten right now like i'm, I'm pretty stoned right now like i'm feeling it it's feeling good but catch you guys later hey yo what's up guys it's your boy man that smokes we back here it is currently two o'clock um i started the stem milk process at 10 o'clock so it's been roughly about four hours since i uh, first dropped my dyna bat pieces into the milk um i'm feeling it i'm pretty sure this is the peak um i'm like an eight out of ten right now like it's not as face melting as i thought it would be but it definitely is a sedating high like bro i already ate the munchies and everything like I just had a peanut butter jelly sandwich, bro. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling frazzled. I'm feeling faded. Like I said, guys, it's just a nice, comfortable, you know, sedating, heavy body high. Like, I just kind of want to chill out and watch a movie. But I wanted to finish this video for you guys. I wanted to get it up for you guys today. So you guys can watch and, you know, replicate it and get your own results. And, you know, let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried the stem milk. Um, the stem milk shit. <laughs> yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video. Um, any feedback, you know, and uh, if you tried stem milk before, you know, like, let me know. And before i go i know i'm gonna get a lot of hate in the comments for leaving my o-rings on my dynavap um i've heard from several you know dynavap employees and i'm pretty sure george has even you know mentioned this as well those 
uh, O-rings on the Dynavaps. They are heat and ISO resistant. So like, you know, they're, as long as you're not letting it sit overnight, a five minute ISO soak is not going to hurt your O-rings at all, especially if they're ISO resistant, like they've been claiming. And if you're gonna take off your, your O-rings, um, you're more likely to damage them trying to take them off than you would if you just left them on. Like, I'm a paintball player. We use O-rings in literally every part of our gun and every part of our marker and stuff. And we got to make sure those O-rings are kept to, you know, the highest standard that they can because it's got to, you know, trap air and have a seal for air and stuff like that. And, like... We never change our O-rings unless if we're, or we never take off our O-rings unless if we're changing them. Like if we're gonna ISO soak our bolt or whatnot, or wipe our bolt with isopropyl alcohol, we just keep the O-rings on. Like it's not a big deal. As long as you're not leaving it in there for hours on end, it's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna hurt the O-rings. It's, it's completely fine, it's completely safe. And even then, pack of O-rings is like, five bucks for like 20 of them i think on simrel and you know that's five dollars for like 20 something o-rings like they're cheap they're plentiful you you can find them anywhere and honestly it's not a big deal so you guys can hate on me all you want i leave my o-rings on my dynavap when i clean it and i'm still alive i'm still out here making videos you see that my o-rings are still keeping a seal because you don't see vapor coming out of my o-rings on videos and stuff like that but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video have a good day have a good weekend um hopefully 10 man goes good this weekend and hopefully i'm able to you know take some videos take some clips for you guys and you know just enjoy your fucking day like have good vibes and just you know remember Stay fucking lifted, my guys. Later.